All right, let's do a quick video on angle pairs. In particular, what we're talking about are complementary and supplementary angles. So complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90, and supplementary angles, well, they add up to 180. Now, the hardest part, I think, about this is remembering which one means which. So I got a little trick. You see the CO right here? You can make that look like a 90. So complementary adds to 90. And you can make the S look like an 8. They add up to 180. So that's pretty cool. So, for example, uh, I've got this angle right here. And there's actually one, two. There's one angle right here that's 22, right? You see that? We have one angle that's right here that's 68. And then we've got the whole thing. These two are complementary. They add up to 90. 68 plus 22, 90. Uh, these two angles being side by side like that, sharing one side having a common vertex, those are called adjacent. So angles that are side by side that share a common leg, they're called adjacent. So uh, angle one and angle two are adjacent right here, and angle two and angle three are adjacent, but angle one and angle three, they're not adjacent. They don't share a common leg. They do have the same vertex, but they don't have a, the same the same side, so those are not adjacent. All right, back to supplementary. Supplementary are two angles again that add up to 180, so 165 and 15. This is a linear pair because together they form a line. You see that linear pair is another name for supplementary. However, they're going to be adjacent, whereas two angles that are supplementary don't necessarily have to be side by side. So a linear pair. Um, they're just like this, where together they make a straight line. All right, now some of the things you might see that you have to figure out with these kinds of relationships are things like this or like this. So if we look right here, this angle is 150, and it's adjacent to this angle with the question mark, and you can see they're a linear pair. They're adjacent and they're supplementary. So that means they add up to 180 degree, uh, 80 degrees. So 150 plus what equals 180? You could probably do it without writing it out, but if you couldn't um, figure it out, you just write that equation and then you would solve. So the question mark is going to be equal to 30 degrees. See how that works? All right, now here we have another one. These two, well, you see how this is a straight line right here? That means this, this entire thing is 180. This part is 90, which means the other part is 90. So 40 plus the question mark is going to be 90. So the question mark then must be 50 degrees. That's how those work. Now, sometimes you might have one that looks like this. You see? So let's say this was x and this was 2x, and you had to figure out what x was. Well, you can see these two angles right here, this one and this one, they're adjacent, and they make a straight line, so they're a linear pair, and they're supplementary, which means they add up to 180. See how I did the S? 180, right? So, one angle plus the other angle equals 180. We can solve that. That's 3x equals 180. So, if you divide by 3, you get 60. So, this one's 60, and this one is 120. So, anyway... That's a real quick overview of how supplementary and complementary angles work, including adjacent angles and solving for some stuff. I hope it's been helpful, and I hope you have a great day.